Alright guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Undertale Genocide Round. Last episode, we had the first grinding montage where I got the genocide route started, and uh, more importantly, we killed Toriel. Yeah, even though last episode was a lot of the same text and everything, a lot of stuff happened even then. So... I guess all we can do now is leave the ruins for good. We got this long hallway to leave through again. And of course, if we remember exactly what happened last time in the pacifist route, there's somebody we're gonna wanna see. Or not wanna see, but who we're about to see again. <laughs> You're not really human, are you? No. You're empty inside. Just like me. In fact, you're shakes, right? We're still inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone, everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. That's a wonderful idea. Yeah, Flowey, that sounds like a wonderful idea. I couldn't have put it in a more terrifying sounding way myself. Anyway, yeah, uh, we're moving out of the ruins, which has always been the introductory portion of the game. So, get this little tidbit here with the title. Yeah, of course. Anyway, this camera is still here. No doubt Alphys is still watching us. Just like she was before. This area is still no less creepy. Probably even more creepy knowing how evil we are. There the branch breaks. But of course we already know who, who we're going to be meeting. And who that shadowy figure behind us really is. It's just... Yeah. This is pretty much the same. After you've completed the past first right, the terrifying feeling about this area doesn't really affect you that much, because you already know who's about to shake your hand. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Okay, Sans. Nice to meet you, buddy. Been a while. And by a while, I mean... Not that long, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. That's, uh, your cue to laugh. Or, uh, to emote at all. Gee, lady, you really know how to pick them up. Huh? Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. So we saw that dialogue was a bit different, so not too much changed yet. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Uh, okay, I guess you don't have to. I'm just not even gonna listen to him. We just don't give a crap. Sans, have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wowie! Guess that's settled. <laughs> He's just... Okay then. <laughs> yeah, that, that scene is cut short. That worked out, huh? Yeah, I'll say. Yep, I'm pretty sure this dialogue is the same. Yeah, it's Century Station, ketchup, mustard, and relish. And just a conveniently shaped lamp. Never hide behind it this time. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother would really like to see a human. So, you know, it'd really help me out if you kept pretending to be one. Already, the music here is really distorted and slow and depressing. So, yeah. That was... 
That was interesting, to say the least. And now, since we've officially started the genocide route, every time we enter a new area, the save points will tell us how many more monsters we have to kill. So right now, there's 16 left. Let's get to murdering. Yeah, it's fishing rod. I'm pretty sure this is all the same. Yep, it's that guy from Grobies trying to get a call from a fish. <laughs> Now we definitely want to take what's inside this box, because we get a tough glove, an even better weapon. Let's go ahead and equip that, and we'll throw all our useless stuff in here. We don't need the stick or the toy knife, because we got better weapons. And we want to keep the bandage, because that's still a healing item. So as much as I said, I think I mentioned last episode that I was just going to, you know, fight the enemies over time, but I think I'm just going to grind again. Because I really don't want to mess things up, and I know for a fact that you can encounter monsters in this area, so... At least I'm pretty sure I know that for a fact. If I don't, then I'm just talking out of my ass here. But... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, I just gotta kill 16 monsters. And doing it right next to the save point not only lets me heal, but lets me keep track of how many more I need to kill. So... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start this grinding right now. Uh, yeah, we got a snow drake. Okay. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Okay, let me show this first before I start the grinding. Oh, got hit. Well, we actually have 40 HP now, which is... Yeah, you'll notice we got a ton of love from beating up Torio, which is... Kind of sad. But anyway, the fighting changes as you use different items, like I said. I think I mentioned in the first episode. So, now that we have the tough glove on, we have to tap C uh, over and over once we attack. So, yeah, it works a little bit differently, which is interesting. It keeps you on your toes and makes the fighting system a little bit more innovative than it used to be, where it didn't used to be very innovative at all. So, yeah, so now that that's out of the way, I explained the new weapon and all that, let the grinding montage start now. Oh boy, I didn't think we'd encounter him this soon. I didn't know you could encounter him in this area, but this is kind of putting a pause in the grinding montage now, but we found, we found Lesser Dog. And I said before in the last playthrough that I would show you what happens if you just keep petting him. So, before I start killing him, I'm going to show you what happens when you pet Lesser Dog. He barely lifted your hand and Lesser Dog got excited. You see his neck got a little longer. Or he at least just moved his head a bit. Hmm, interesting. Let's keep petting him. No, his neck is definitely getting, neck is definitely getting longer. He lightly touched the dog. It's already overexcited. Oh, yeah, I'll say he's overexcited. Jeez. I've never seen a dog who's being pet his neck get longer like that. It's a little weird. Pet the dog. It raises his head to meet up to meet your hand. Okay, this is officially getting awkward. Uh... Um, he's barking excitedly. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. <laughs> excited noises. And he's getting excited. He really wants us to keep petting him. Let's keep going then. You pet the dog. It's this excitement knows no bounds. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh god. What are we doing? I, feel, I almost feel sorry for him. Look at that. Next aren't supposed to be that long. Critical pet. Dog excitement increased. Oh, he doesn't even try to fight us anymore, his neck's just too long. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. Jeez. You don't even pet it, it gets more excited. Plane take off. There is no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle. It's just... Lesser dog enters the realm of the clouds. It's just hilarious, like, how intense this gets. It's just... You call the dog, but it is too late. It cannot hear you. It's just a far away bark. <laughs> I'm really sad I didn't show this sooner, because I love this thing. I love this little weird Easter egg they put in. Also, I think his tail is wagging even harder the more we pet him. I never noticed that before. You can reach Lesser Dog again, because his head is coming back down. You can you pet Lesser Dog. Pan, pan. <laughs> God. Pet lesser dog, and pet, and yep, yeah, I'm just gonna keep petting him. Trust me, more stuff does happen. It does keep getting longer. 
Yeah, I told this dog. He's starting to get into the text. Oh, jeez. This is getting a little out of hand. It's possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> we might just have a problem. I might just be petting this dog too much. I don't know. But is that even possible? Could you ever actually pet a dog too much? I mean, look at him. He's so happy. Even though his neck is so inconveniently long, he's just so... He's just so freaking happy. Look at him. His tail is wagging even harder, jeez. Oh god, he's freaking out so much. This is just hilarious. Possible that he may have a problem. Trust me, more stuff does happen. Still just panting. Uh, just gonna keep petting him. Sooner or later, it'll change. Dog is unpetable, unpetable, but appreciates the attempt. Oh jeez. Yeah, there's still one more thing I think is different. We'll be seeing it soon. And I think we'll be seeing it soon. <laughs> it takes so long. Oh my god. His head is still getting longer. I'm curious, does it poke out from under the text box at the bottom? I don't know if it does. Oh, there it is! It does! <laughs> Holy crap, it just keeps going. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> it continues. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it go this far. I don't think I've ever had the patience to pet him this much. <laughs> this is so stupid. Like, the fact that this is even in the game, like, why? <laughs> Just look at this. And... It's beyond your reach. Jesus. Okay. I guess I'll check him. Mr. Dog. Wields a stone dogger made of... Palmer granite. Huh. <laughs> I appreciate that pun. I've never read that, read that before. Anyway... As much as I hate to do this, <laughs> he's gone where no dog has gone before. Oh my god. As much as I hate to do this, I'm gonna have to fight him now. And there we go. Man, I made him so happy and then I killed him. I'm a jerk. Jeez. Anyway, back to the grinding montage. Nobody came. Alright. That's all the mobs we had to kill. All the monsters we had to kill in Snowden. I just realized they called the monsters here mobs. I'm not playing Minecraft, I'm playing Undertale. Anyway, yeah, that's that's all the basic monsters we had to kill in the Snowden area. So we can now save and then keep on going. The rest of this area. So, Sans, when the when's the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best, or at least my Tuesday pretty good. Don't, don't you only have one outfit? Yeah, but I could style my hair. Oh, right. Good idea. Say, why don't you look over there? <laughs> Using the same bit from the past, Fister out. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? 
Behold. <laughs> oh my god! Why are you telling me to look at a rock? Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I have no idea what that is. Well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no. By process, by process of elimination, that means it's a human. Um, human. Prepare yourself for hijinks, for low jinks, dangers, puzzles, capers, japers, being captured, and other sorts of fun activities. Refreshments will be provided. If you dare! <laughs> and you don't even bat an eye, huh? I mean, sure, as much as I was laughing, our character didn't seem to laugh that much. Let's hope these text buses aren't too interrupting this time, though. Uh, to, uh, yeah, this is the same as before. Same little sentry station grabbed by papyrus. Absolutely no moving. You can't tell me what to do, game. I'll move all I want. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. H hey, I can't stop shivering all of a sudden. Who, who's there? See, that text was a bit different, because he's actually pretty scared of us. As he probably should be, because we're about to murder his face. Don't move an inch. Alright. That text's not gonna do much to save you, buddy. See you in dog heaven. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oh my god, I'm such a jerk. Like... <laughs> Jeez. It's terrible. It's terrible. This It makes you feel like the scum of the earth. Like, you thought taking the candy from the bowl was bad? No, this is... Oh my god, just as I said, scum of the earth. Oh no. I'll tell you right now, I did this the first time I did the genocide route. But I felt like such an asshole. <laughs> oh my god, this is... By far, to, in my opinion, the most terrible thing you can do in the in genocide route is just so morbid and violent. Also, this will be an opportunity for me to explain what went wrong in the pacifist ninja route. I think what happened was you can't do the snowman thing once you complete the pacifist route, because even though I had it in my inventory, I never got what you're supposed to get for doing it. I think I had to have it in my inventory for the neutral route, which I didn't. I had it in the phone boxes. So what happens, I'm just going to tell you, Sans calls you like normal and just tells you, oh, and you made a snowman very happy. Which isn't that big of a deal, but it makes it feel good for helping the snowman out. And even though I actually did, yeah, I still didn't get the call. But so, yeah, but here's what happens in the genocide route. Here's what you can do, at least, when you talk to the scout, to the snowman. Hello, I'm a snowman. I can't move. Traveler, if you could... You got the snowman piece. Oh me, oh my, what are you doing? Soon there won't be any of me left. You got the snowman piece. You're carrying too many items. Oh, well. Uh, bandage isn't that good of an item, I'll drop it. Stop. Please. You got the snowman piece. It's a useless pile of snow. Oh my god, I feel like such a jerk. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh my god. And I'm sure some people are mad about me dropping the bandage, but... Because you can sell that for a lot of money at Temi Village, but honestly, the genocide route, you're never low on money. You have plenty of it. Plus, you can even get some stuff for free. So, there's no point in me having that much money anyway. And plus, and if you want to argue, oh, but it's another healing item. Look at in my inventory right now. Four monster candies, a butterscotch pie, snowman piece, heals for 45, and even though it's telling me to take this to the end of the earth, there isn't really a snowman for us to help anymore, so... Oof. God, that's... A, it's literally the one part of the game where I feel like the biggest asshole. Like, it's just so terrible. You're so lazy! You are napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh ho, oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. 
Why, you see, this is the invisible. Ah. You must be having culture shock. You see, where I come from, it's a loving tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So, uh, just walk back there and... <sighs> Why couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? Oh my god. <laughs> you just walk right through it like it's not even there, because it probably never really was. It's just... Oh my god. Uh, this is where it starts to set in that you're a huge jerk. Once the snowman pops up, that's when this playthrough starts to get to me. It would make my brother happy if you played along. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. It's terrible. It's ter we're terrible people. Also, the snowball isn't even there. We can't even play snowball golf. It sucks. Could have gotten like three or two or three gold from that, but we can't even do it. And we got these things, they say the same thing. Might as well not even check them. It's just repetitive. Just have to keep on going. It's a snowball, not a snow decahedron anymore. I don't have enough imagination with that, maybe. Human, I hope you're ready for. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they'll skip this one. I don't need your useless word search. Sans! What? That did nothing! Whoops. I knew I should've put down doing your Junior Jumble instead. What? Junior Jumble? Finally, something we can both agree on. <laughs> they just completely skipped the little argument they had. Guess you don't like word searches, huh? Me neither. I'm more of a funny pages kind of guy. No reaction. Even though that was a pretty decent joke. We just don't care enough to give a response. Determination. And we're back with the spaghetti that Papyrus cooked. I think pretty sure all the dialogue is the same again, so no point in checking it. Anyway, here's what I'll stop for this episode. And uh, yeah, this is where if the Toriel if killing Toriel last episode wasn't enough to make us feel like a huge jerk, this this is where it starts to really set in and start to make you really hate yourself for actually going through with this playthrough. I'm already starting to go through that right now, but I gotta do it. Hey, yeah, yeah, I just gotta do it. I just uh, as much as it hurts to do it. Anyway. Next episode, we'll keep going on through Snowden, and I don't know if we'll make it to Waterfall, but we might make it, and then we'll, if we do, we'll have another uh, grinding montage. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, so see you guys then.